Hey there family, it's Robin the Delta Crafter and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you tips and tricks on how I use this solid hot foil plate from Paint Fresh Studio. There's some good tips in here, so stay tuned. So thank you again for joining me for part two of how I use my Glimmer hot foil system with various different um, hot foil plates that are out there on the market. So this particular video is going to be dedicated to this pretty baby right here. This is the solid hot foil plate from Pink Fresh Studio. And when I tell you that this is a game changer, like this is a game changer. Um, this solid hot foil plate allows you to take what we had previously been throwing away um, as scraps um, from our foiling and turn those into creations and um, items that we can create with. So I'm going to be um, sharing my process with you all uh, with uh, for this. Um, I believe that Pink Fresh Studio was the first on, to have a solid hot foil plate on the market. I think there is another one out there on the market now, but um, this is the one that I have and this does, I love this thing. It is, it really is a um, game changer. Shout out to Heather Hoffman and Pink Fresh Studio for being such geniuses and coming up with this. But before we get to the solid hot foil plate, I'm gonna use this um, perfect sentiment set from Pink Fresh Studio that <clears throat> is going to, uh, I'm going to hot foil with this one so that I can create a beautiful um, set of sentiments that I can use the hot foil plate on. And another reason why I wanted to use this one is I wanna show you that through trial and error, you can see I put my hot foil down wrong side up one time and I hot foiled my hot plate instead of the paper. No worries though, it didn't ruin the plate. You can still use it. So if you find yourself um, doing this, making this um, this mistake, don't worry about it. Your plate will still work. So I'm back with the platform. I'm going to take our two shims off. I'm going to peel up our paper and let's peel back that foil. Beautiful foiling. Beautiful foiling. And no overfoiling. Yay! So adding that, allowing the plate to heat up well gives you a great result. So now we're gonna take this, we're gonna set this aside, and now it's time to move on to the solid hot foil plate, which is what this video is all about. So I'm gonna use the tweezers that come with my um, hot foil system, and this one, let's see, I can't get it up. So I'm gonna take it, I like to use it closed, pick up the hot foil plate, bring it over and kind of twist it so then it releases. And I'll let that sit there and cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug up my platform back to the base. That way it can start to heat up. Now it's still hot, it still has some residual heat from when we um, just used that plate. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and place the solid hot foil plate on here while it's heating up. Because with this solid hot foil plate, this is a lot of foil plate to heat up. So the, the addition, what I found is the additional time that we have that this sits on the heating element, the better it will be. And so I'm just gonna let that sit up, sit there while it's, uh, the platform is uh, warming up and let the plate heat up as well. So now you can see our platform ready light is on. That means the platform is heated up. So I'm going to press the button 
and I'm going to allow this to run through the heating cycle two times. I'm actually gonna do it two times. So this will be our first time. And then when it finishes, I'll show you how we're gonna reset it and run it again. So our time has elapsed, this button is solid again. So now in order to run it the second time, we have to release the platform from the base. You see the lights went off and then we're gonna plug it back in again. And then we're gonna allow this to turn green and then we're gonna hit the timer button a second time. So we let the cycle run through twice now. The timer button is solid. So this hot plate, this solid hot foil plate is pretty hot now. So we're just gonna follow the steps that we did with just doing a regular um, hot foil plate. We're going to take our foil, but this time, this is the foil that we've already used and created our sentiments. So remember when we, um, in the first video, when we made the make today count, and then we had the floral and the have a great day. This is where we're gonna turn these, which would have been would have been scraps previously. We're gonna turn these into elements that we can use now. So you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna take it, you're gonna take the foil and put the pretty side down. And because of this is such a large, a um, lot of foiling that's being done, you just wanna be mindful and make sure everything touches the plate. We're going to put our piece of paper again, Nina Classic Crest Solar White, 80 pound, 80 pound weight. I'm gonna pull the platform <clears throat> from the base and now I'm gonna place my two shims, my thin shim and my spacer pad on top. Take this over to my embossing machine and run it through. So now I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up because I want this to keep, um, I want this to start heating up again. Remove my plates, peel this up and now for the reveal. Now we've got a pretty solid piece of foil that has transferred to the paper. Isn't that beautiful? Now, there is one thing that I want to point out with um, different foil. Different foils function and kind of behave differently. Um, I think some of the gold foils are probably the best foils, the solid gold, just plain gold foils are probably the best. And sometimes I've used a black gold foil and I think that tends to be the most finicky. Either way, there you, you can definitely work with them. So even if you have some of this area, you can see that didn't foil perfectly because of the way that the um, dies are gonna cut this out, very little of this foil you're actually going to see. It's gonna be like a halo of foil around the sentiment. But I just thought this this hot foil plate was fantastic and just such a great way to take what would have been a scrap, what would have gone in the trash and made it usable. So let's take a look. So we've got the original hot foil plate and what was created with that. And now what we've been able to create with the solid foil plate, just fantastic. So remember those two um, pieces of foil that we had left over from the first cards that we made in video one? Let's go ahead and turn those into elements that we can use as well. creations that we made with the solid hot foil plate and I just wanted to show you what the sentiments will look like once you use that once you use the die on the um, the part where we use the solid hot foil plate so it's the exact opposite and reverse of this isn't that awesome 
I love, love, love having this solid hot foil plate. This is, this just gives them so much versatility and options now. Here are close-ups of the, um, the sentiments that we foiled previously. Now I could use any type of basic die, <clears throat> excuse me, if I want to, to cut this out. So I could use a circle, a hexagon, square, whatever. Um, and then I have the hexagon that will cut this out and then I can fussy cut this out or whatever I want to do with it. Um, the options are endless. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing how to use this solid hot foil plate um, from Pink Fresh Studio. I absolutely love having this in my in my um, stash, in my collection. It just gives me, like I said previously, just so many more options and versatility on what I can do with my hot foil plates. Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified of when I upload new videos. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at thedeltacrafter.com. I'm sorry, at the Delta Crafter. You can find me on my website at thedeltacrafter.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy. Bye, everyone.